hiking along the river near a waterfall might seem like a beautiful activity and it can be really colorful in fall. I'm surrounded by these orange shrubs which look pretty but there's a dark side to these shrubs. This is burning bush or winged euonymus commonly used in landscaping. People plant these in their yards for the spectacular red color that it produces in fall. It is considered, however, an invasive species. It's native to Asia, China, Japan, but it was brought to this country for landscaping. And what happens is, even though it seems like a contained shrub in your yard, it produces many, many, many red berries. And these little red berries are loved by birds who eat the berries, fly off, and then the seeds are expelled in their droppings. That means that the burning bush, or winged euonymus, sprouts up in different areas, often natural areas, to the detriment of that habitat. There are no insects or animals, wild animals, that feed on this out in the woods, so it has a tendency to grow uncontrollably and take over the understory. That means it crowds out our native shrubs like spice bush or uh, elderberry or nine bark. All those shrubs that are native insects and native birds have evolved alongside of to feed on. When there's a spread of euonymus like this, it also creates a corresponding drop in the number of types of species of insects and birds as well. The winged euonymus name comes from the fact that there's quirky layers that grow on the stems expanding outward like little wings. And that's a way that you can identify the shrub in the warm weather months when it's green. It's pretty easy to spot though in the fall. If you have euonymus in your yard, you might consider removing it because it will have the potential to spread and devastate natural areas like this one. Remember, you can find your own outdoor elements when you visit area parks and natural areas. We'll see you soon.